Hello and welcome back again to my channel. What does Prince of Persia has to do with this little device that I just got? Let's find out. As far as I remember, I've always been a big fan of Jordan Mechner's Prince of Persia and Karateka. The legend begins long ago in a simpler time. The evil warlord Akuma kidnapped the princess Mariko, holding her captive in his fortress. From this despair, a hero was born, a karateka. Jordan created on his games a fluid animation and fast-paced story that was ahead of its time. Following the success of Karateka, Prince of Persia delivered the same astonishing graphics and fluid gameplay. Prince of Persia was so successful that it was ported to almost all consoles and most computer systems at the time. But ironically, Atari Computer, which was very well known for the computer games, never had an 8-bit version of this amazing game. But all changed finally last year. Behold Prince of Persia for Atari XL. This new release features amazing graphics and outstanding sound. And we can argue that on the 8-bit world is one of the best versions of Prince of Persia. When I found out about this game, the first thing I wanted is to test it in my Atari 800 XL. After several failures, on the board they recommended me to get an ABG card. This is an FPGA based uh, card that emulates cartridges, floppies and all kinds of media for the Atari 8-bit. So let's go ahead and start testing it. Okay, let's turn on the computer, I have the ABG cable. Um, cartridge with a cable connected to the back port. Let's see the back port. And it's here. I just tape this so I don't lose this little piece of plastic that covers it. And let's turn it on. Let's see how it works. Okay. So I got the menu. I go to these XEX files that I have this SIM check application. Let's see if we can see it. Let me go close by. And let's select the SIM check. It immediately can detect 256K of RAM. So I'm normally it has a base memory 64, so I'm gonna be able to run it. So I get out of here. Oh, I think you gotta click here and select and then it allows me to go back and I already have I, I, I got a bunch of, of files but I already downloaded the Prince of Persia version so let's see what happens and I hope you can hear the music Put it up. And it will stay there forever if I don't click on something. I 
here we go. Beautiful. I'm very, very excited about this version because as you can hear, as you can hear, it's better music, nicer graphics, a lot more colors than the Apple II. And look at that, just like the original. <laughs> and I have to return it now, it's gonna just show. And look at the quality. The only thing that I'm not crazy about is this green in the background, because you cannot see too much these walls and the and the and the floor, but other than that, it's very, very nice. And again, I like that I can use my nice Wiko joystick. So again, this is a great, great cartridge. While we're at it, let's check out what else we can see over here. So let's go close. And, uh, you know, there's a bunch of programs that I, I've been getting together. You know, I, I didn't, I am not, really well there and I always envied the Atari colors and games they were a little bit better than the Apple II ones in color I mean And just like that, you know, Atari always was about the games and, uh, you know, it's a lot of, a lot of files that you can get. I don't, I haven't even gone through a lot of these, but, you know, just selecting several of them, you got Q-Bird, you got, you know, a lot of games and, uh, see very nice so again I love this little thing I, I think I'm gonna get rid of the my IDE it's a great it's a great device but again you know when you have something more capable like this ABG card uh, I think this is kind of old technology and um, I only need one so I think this is this is very good it covers all my my needs and will allow me to keep on investigating learning about the Atari computer again it's a beautiful platform it's something that I never had when I was a kid but I always was um, you know uh, I, I wanted to know more about it uh, and now that I that I can uh, I'm gonna keep on exploring this 
So as you can see, I'm not only Apple II platform, I'm becoming agnostic. I still love my Apple II, of, of course, and, and that's my main. But, you know, I, I always try to learn and, and see the beauty of the other platforms. And this is really nice. The design was always very nice also on the Atari. Plastics for me, they're also very good quality, better quality than others, uh, either, you know, Commodore. Uh, I think Atari plastics were a little bit better. And uh, and the design was really good, you know, metal parts. You know, this, this metal thing is really nice. And... Uh, <clears throat> the, I, I don't honestly I don't like too much the stiffness of the joysticks but that's the way it is because they, they are different than the Apple II ones again uh, I love it I think this is a must have if you're starting in Atari if you have one of these 800 XL and you want to play with new new things like the, the, the new game that just came out uh, well not to came out but the new games that are coming out, there's still people doing games and uh, Prince of Persia is one of the best games I've seen for Atari. The music, the graphics, everything is really, really amazing and, and I think it's well worth it. And it was well worth it to wait for, for this and uh, uh, order it because it really allowed me to see it. I'm going to keep on, on playing this game for a long, long time. Okay, so I think I got, uh, it's everything right now until I keep on investigating more over here and enjoying. Um, don't forget, please, to like, subscribe if you can. Uh, I would like to be, uh, ask you to, to support me on Patreon. And uh, please uh, leave a lot of opinions, uh, comments. I love to chat with my viewers. So thank you very much and see you next time.